Hi guys, Mick here playing Rome 2 Total War and the new expansion has just been released. Well, new patch, which is free to all existing customers apparently. Imperator Augustus campaign, there it is. So what I'm gonna do is play as Egypt. Although there are four Roman factions, which are probably the highlight of this expansion. I want to see how they play out as AI. I'm pretty sure Octavian uh, is more like more like to succeed given his situation there, but I think we're gonna stick with Egypt, try and grow west and east, maybe a little bit south. But I've got to be careful of all of the Roman threats in the northeastern and the western areas. So that might be fun. And so let's dive right into it. I'm really looking forward to this expansion. I haven't really had much time to record, so that's why this is a day late to the actual release. But by the time you're viewing this, it should have been only a day or two after the actual release, so that's not too bad. Again, I'm looking forward to the new features such as the politics. Apparently they've revamped the politics system quite a bit, they've rebalanced units, nerfed horse units quite a bit apparently. Um, what else, what else? Pretty sure that uh, in combat melee tends to last much, much longer. Um, and that really is about the gist of it. But obviously that's a really vague uh, summary. But I think that's the gist of it. Anyways, um, this loading screen is taking longer than I expected on an SSD, so I'll cut you and I'll see you back in game. You are my son, but I've done all I can to protect you. The gods smile on you, Octavian. You're a good soldier. I'm a politician. We don't need more politicians. It's not more speeches in the Senate that will change the world. Rome is dying. Why do you think Caesar favored you so? I was loyal. No, Octavian. He saw in you the potential to continue his legacy. Not to follow him, but to exceed him. Antony cannot be trusted. His heart lies in Egypt. We must confront the reality that civil war is inevitable. And how will bloodshed save the people of Rome? You are not meant to save them. You are meant to lead them. All men are troubled when their moment has come. I am not Caesar. I don't have his strength. The people loved him, and they will love you. You can't think like an ordinary man. You must reach beyond mortal ambition and do what has never been done. That music's awesome. Survive, my son. Rome must have a master. As was that intro. Good job setting the scene there, CA. Really good job. Egypt's present may be a pale imitation of its past glory, but its future greatness is in your hands. You must restore your ancient holdings in Africa and the East. Your greatest ally in this endeavor will be the Roman general Mark Antony. He will deal with the ever-expansionist Parthians, enabling you to turn and dispatch the troublesome Nasamonas nomads to the West. While Judea and Nabatea remain Antony's protectorates, East Africa and Arabia will be yours for the taking. However, be ever mindful of Lepidus lurking in the west, as once the Triumvirate breaks down, he may seek to add Egypt to his African domain. This must not be allowed to happen. Ensure that the champions of Mart are ever victorious. Right, so we're in game. First things first, I think I'll turn up the voices a little bit. Sorry about that. Uh, speech, just a little bit. You also have it all, I've got it all turned down. 
But I can balance that later if if it's uh, too quiet. So what was the objective? Control eight settlements. I think first first thing is first I'll take out the Nasamonis to the west. So I'm going to focus militarily until that is done and then try to build up some kind of economic strength. Uh, public order doesn't seem too good. Let's see why. Right, we need more Hellenic culture in this area. Oh wow, again, more Hellenic culture. So first thing is first, I'm actually going to expand and build a consecrated ground. And wow. That's already a city, excellent. Again, I think somewhere around here, maybe in Myos Homos. Again, um, sorry if I pronounce any of these wrong. You'll know from mine and Matt's videos, my pronunciation really isn't that good. <laughs> but I'll do my best. Maybe Alexandria. Let's break down here for now. Um. Technology, which do we have? We don't have any military. We do have some civil technology. Which one in? Ooh, in construction. Wow, we're quite far along actually. Almost have an enamela. That'll be really quite good for um, infrastructure growth and slight economic benefits later on. What can I do for so, Egypt? like I said, first things first. We'll need a decent army. Those Egyptian pikemen aren't really that good. So I think I'll kit out with some pikemen instead. And disband those. Galatian swordsmen are better than the Korean axemen overall. So I'll support with those. And I think you'll get some slingers and some uh, citizen cav to back those up. As far as diplomacy goes, I'll want to be expanding south later and I don't want to damage my uh, reliability reputation. So I'm not going to have any treaties in the south, but I don't want to expand east yet. As I think these are client states of Mark Antony's Rome. Yes, they are. Speak, my friend. So, first we'll trade. Uh, Non-aggression pact. When Excellent. I accept. When two ride on the same oh. camp. Um, same again with the Nabatea. I think we're already trading, we are, but I don't I want you in my master's to be aggressive there. I accept. Is there anyone else I can trade with? Not you. I probably trade with you. Welcome on the Yep, more trade on better. Uh that is Mark Anthony's room. Let's check out the faction screen. Oh, new. So this is the same screen we're used to, I believe. Um, that's again the character screen. This is new. There's a nice little civil war. Um, what would you call it? That's like a bar, like it might be a bar that boils up to indicate the likelihood of civil war breaking out. Apparently, this will be our influence. Yep, Ptolemaic dynasty. And what are these? These are clan wide. Clan wide. <laughs> Too much shogun. These are um, faction wide uh, influence bonuses. But obviously, the more bonuses you get, yeah, the more likely it's going to be for a civil war, I assume. But let's try and push that up. Uh, secure some promotions. Much better. And I think that's it for this turn. I want to disband this army as soon as possible, or at least move it into Alexandria for the uh, for the public order bonus, or else I take this army out because Alexandria is not going to be very happy with no military presence. I actually need. Oh, I can actually um, issue an edict. Didn't realize that. I'm gonna go for public order initially. Yeah, let's go for that. I might help out a little whilst the culture increases. The desert nomadic culture is quite the problem for Egypt starting off in these uh, games. I've noticed that in a quick sneak peek. 
We need some more slingers over here. Oh no, we don't actually. Should I get four? Yeah, okay, I'll get four. Those um, Nubian spearmen, by the way, are really good spearmen. Gonna get a couple of those. A couple of sitters in the cav. When I can afford them. Need to quickly move in to ammonium over there. So I'm gonna try and bum rush those guys whilst they don't have much of a standing army. I hope you want a peace treaty? No. I want your land. Peace is not an option. Only subjugation. Right, so what's I doing here? Another citizen's carve. I think I get maybe another pike. Another swordsman. And probably another carve. Yep, another carve. For technology, I think I'm going to research to get the Hoplite barracks as soon as possible. Although we do need um, to get some cattle pens or other, some other kind of reliable food source and economic source, yeah. So we'll be moving into the economy tree pretty soon. How's the influence looking? Can't promote anyone. This is Ptolemy and this guy is Georgius. Again, just waiting for the recruit, for the uh, recruitment slot. I'm quite eager to see how long it takes for the triumvirate to actually break down. Take this subsidy. Look, Our I don't want peace. Why do you ask for peace? What can I do for Egypt? One more turn, maybe? Yeah, one more turn should do. Uh, might be worth hiring some agents whilst we're at it. What can I do for Should probably Egypt? look at the skills first. How much a mistake? That's not too bad. Get this guy to um, move into that army when he can. Do I have an agent somewhere? How can I be yes, I do. I'm going to move you preemptively over towards Ammonium. Try and disrupt, try and poison some uh, troops. If possible. Again, I'll just skip turn. You'll notice the incomes went down to around 750. Can you not find the courage to join yeah, sure thing. If it's going to build up relations with you, well, I'll go to all someone who I don't even know exists yet. Not a problem at all. Loving how fast factions end turns now. Much faster than when the game was first brought out. I mentioned that every single campaign playthrough, but it's just such a relief. Treading soft. This looks relatively undefended. Sabotage. So I'm. Oh, she got wounded straight away. That is useless. <laughs> wow, that is useless. I want you to train him. I want you to start moving down here. ASAP. Can I force march you? No, I can't because of the agent. Amateur. Can I recruit any more agents? I can't. There's not much for me to do except. Build improvements. That's a pretty useless uh, building at the moment. Only gives an extra capacity of recruitment. Um, I have enough. What to do? There's a um, Hols. How would you pronounce that? Holosideros barracks, barracks over here. So I'm going to expand and take that muster field down the other tech tree, the other um, upgrade tree. Sorry. That way we can get decent ranged and decent melee units on the field. And we'll proceed from there. Nearly done. I live to serve Pharaoh. Advance. But we can get in here pretty all, soon. Uh, 500, is that enough money? Uh, what do we need to build? I don't really know what I want yet. So I think I'll hang on and upgrade these places first. It's probably a safer bet to get more food per turn. Once I've taken this province whole, apart from Mark Antony's city over there, then I can actually start focusing on the economy, like I said. My Lord wishes to bestow coin that payment's on your increasing every time now. <laughs> you can sense impending doom. Spice of Cravat, excellent. Get 
and all sorts of pop-ups. The Cast of Horus. I'm going to call him actually a different name. The Immortals of... of Mick. Perfect. Let's go down the Authority Tree. Where is this agent? There she is. Excellent. Again, let's go and sabotage. Sorry, poison wells. Successful, excellent. And a rank increase. Again, down the agent. Essentially the authority. How would you even pronounce that name? Yol Yolanthe. Yolanthe. Weird. Right. Into enemy territory. Let's do this. Let's go from straight attack. Let's just quickly auto resolve this. I'm anticipating that their army is going to be nearby. It's actually not. That's quite handy. I'm going to hang here until I can find the funds to convert. Look at the public order, it's minus 17 per turn at the moment. I'll scout ahead with the spy towards uh, Orgilla over there. It's a pretty useless build, I'm, I'm considering dismantling it. Oh, Ptolemy has a rank. Didn't notice that. I like how it pops up and tells you. Make him a commander. Actually, saying that, which household? Bonus does he have? Just to heal our authority. That's not bad at all. Um, so where's this army? It's got to be here somewhere. Maybe. There it is. Public order is still not all that good. I need a decent Hellenic cultural influence bonus as well as public order. Like that one, for example. Or that one. That's plus four to both, and that is plus three to both, but we get conversion costs down. Uh, let's go for that one. Once I've got the money. Probably a few turns for that. Let all men fear me. It's nice to have the uh, faction brave within the army. Because they actually do help and train in a lot and get an experience quite a bit. Let's go for Valar. My Lord. Pretty sure I can How move can I those guys out now. Um, plus 11 change. Um, military presence is 2, so I think it's all I need to take I them out. Need to strike as soon as At possible. Mischief and mischief. Successful sabotage, perfect. Agents are so overpowered in this game, I've noticed. Not sure if they've nerfed that or not, but um, I remember hearing some kind of talk about patch notes where they nerfed spies because they're basically destroying armies by poisoning them. Uh, let's go for spy. Ready for orders. How can I assist Pharaoh? I live to serve Pharaoh. I'm gonna change edict over here to. Um, wealth from commerce buildings. If we have any commerce buildings, I'm not too sure if we do. We could get the tax rate up, actually. Let's go for tax rate. Wiping out these guys a lot faster than I anticipated. There's Mark Anthony coming to the help. Coming to help me, uh... But basically, he won't do anything. Don't think he's actually at war with them. Getting through these quite quickly, actually. How can I be oh, I've recruited a new general. I'm going to continue to I poison these guys. You, it's not good enough. At your command. I'm just going to move into their territory, hoping to uh, coax them out a bit. If they come out to attack me, that means they lose their garrison, so it would be a win for me, essentially. Wealth from commerce or wealth from farming? Let's go for the garden please for now.
All right. How may I serve you? That didn't work, apparently. So... With poison. How about if I actually raid then instead? Should put our income up a lot, disrupt them a lot. I'm, I'm basically waiting for them to come out because I want some kind of uh, advantage here before I commit my uh, main body of men. Start expanding these quite a bit now, too. Need to try and save up for that. <clears throat> no aggression is back. Yep. In a treaty between us. Demand a payment. So speak the I don't think so. Do not think so. <laughs> Very cheeky. Poison you now. Yay. How much? Not very much, apparently. How can I assist, I'm quite tempted just to go in and have a go at these guys. None will escape. Yep, why not? I live to serve That'll be a battle for next episode, I believe. We're coming quite rapidly to the close of this episode now. Let's go for the Gymnasia. Actually, let's not. Let's upgrade this, like I said before. And we'll call the first episode there. I thank you for watching. If you liked it, please do hit like. If you want to see more, do subscribe. I plan on making Egypt the dominant force of the world. So again, guys, thank you, and I'll see you next time.